Hello everyone, today I wanted to share with you a little Godot trick that I found with, uh, with shaders. So let's, let me explain. So let's say I have a basic sprite that I want to, to color at runtime dynamically. So let's get rid of that, get rid of that. So basically this one that was obviously read from a Mario game I guess. Please don't sue me, Nintendo. I'm just only using it for um, for a personal project, side project. So let's say I want to I want to instantiate a bunch of them, but you'll see they're all plain green, boring. I'd like to pretty much have them change colors dynamically, and let's see how I can do that. So first of all, you need to set up your sprites your sprites in a certain way, I'll show you. Uh, so this is the sprite and you'll see that there's something really interesting with it. It's that all the greens that we see here don't have any red or blue in them. Only green. No red, no blue and this one same, no red, no blue. So we'll be able to use that actually, which is pretty cool. So back to Godot. Actually, this is Godot 2. Uh, 2. 4.02, the recent one. And how I can do that? So forget about all this crap. This, as I said, this is something that I'm doing for a personal project, but you only need the, the sprite here. So let's apply a shader to it and let's see what we can do. So first of all we're gonna need a new color to, to give to that shader. So let's say we're gonna export a variable. I mean export, not really export a variable but you know what I mean. If I do that we have here a new shader parameter so we can pretty much change the a color how we like so how we're gonna do that we're gonna sample the, the texture first so this is gonna run from for every pixel in the in the sprite store the the color of the of the sprite so what do we need basically so we need if we only need to change the the red the green pixels here we don't want to change the white ones and neither the, the the yellowish ones so we'll say first of all if the rue the red blue and alpha channels are equal to respectively zero for the red, zero for blue, and one for alpha. So basically, this is every pixels that we want to target only the the green ones. So we also need to do that. I'm gonna check the green channel. So this code that we put right here is only gonna run for the green pixels here. Because they don't have either red, neither blue or alpha in, and their alpha is one. And their green channel is above zero. So this is gonna run only for the green pixels. So what do we gonna do for these ones? We're gonna change the color. And let's say that we want the new color. And that should do it. That should do it. What what's wrong? And no no E. Where? E. Oh yeah. And now it's, it works. We can basically change the color, but there's uh, an issue. You'll see it changing, changes every green pixels 
not taking into account the shadow, so we just need to multiply that with the actual green value and And then it works. We can change it how we like. So let's see how we can do that in code. I'm gonna go to my shell script here. So, well, there's a bunch of code, but you only need to take into account this one. So at the ready function, when we instantiate the shell, we set a random, a random color and well, this is checking if the shell is named normal, but yeah, let's forget about it. We create a new color from U saturation and value. So from saturation, let's see what the documentation says. From it says H as U saturation value and alpha. Okay, and U saturation value are between zero and one. So we can create a new color here. So we want saturation one, value one, alpha one, and the hue, we want it to be between zero and one to have a random color. And then we only set that color to the shader parameter here, to the sprite material parameter. And it should work. Now if we go back to our scene here and we run it, Beam, it works. You'll see that all our shells have different colors. And I'm pretty sure this is something similar they did in maybe Yoshi's Island to color all the Yoshis. Though I don't think the Super Nintendo had any shaders because, I mean, did it have GPU? I don't know. If you if you guys know, please let me know in the, <laughs> in the comments. This is something I'm wondering and yeah least but not last but not least I just wanted to point out that yeah I'm aware that doing if statements in shaders uh, are not really really cool it's this is not really the the way you you program shaders usually because uh, th this doesn't run on the CPU but on the GPU and well it's complicated but this is different stuff but i really didn't find any other way to do it maybe if you know I'm, i'll be quite interesting actually to to know how you can do that i'm sorry this is maybe quite bad but yeah i'm pretty new to that and shaders are kind of still like voodoo magic to me so sometimes so <laughs> well anyway i hope you enjoyed and well, have a good night and see you later. Bye.